Hello friends. I'm Travis and welcome back to another excellent vintage Star Wars set review on Brick Showcase. Today I proudly showcase the Lego Star Wars Desert Skiff set 7104 from the year 2000. It is from Star Wars Episode 6, The Return of the Jedi Movie. The set depicts the point in the movie when Luke Skywalker and Han Solo are held prisoner by Jabba the Hutt and his entourage, then taken to the Great Pit of Karkoon in the Dune Sea on Tatooine. They were to be thrown into the Sarlacc Pit, but managed to escape thanks to some impressive Jedi skills from Luke Skywalker. This is one of my favorite Star Wars battle scenes. The set has 55 pieces and comes with two unique minifigures only found in this set. There have since been many larger and better Desert Skiff models. However, this is the nostalgic and first original Desert Skiff ever made, so much of a desired and sought-after item. If we look at the Desert Skiff vehicle, as with the models of this time, it is very simple. It is square and blocky with exposed studs, but this is how models were at the time. The fact you could actually buy Star Wars sets at that time was impressive itself. The brick colors used are dark gray, light gray, dark brown, black, sand color, and a strange exposed blue piece on the underside for some reason. The pieces used do a very good job capturing the shape, although it's a bit small. Though four stud wide one seater cars were still the standard at this time. Making it six studs wide would have given more standing room, but I understand why they couldn't or didn't. The back has the brown wing pieces either side with the long gray pointed antenna pieces. The driving unit is towards the rear, followed by unique brown fence pieces either side. There is a brown 2x4 piece in the center for stability but takes up scarce room on the vehicle. At the front of the vehicle the brown curved piece used was a clever touch. It captures, in angular form, the nose of the skiff without cutting down on standing room, which was already limited. On the other side of the vehicle there is a gangplank. It is a smooth 1x8 tile piece. It is narrow and tricky to get a mini figure to stand on, but it's in proportion to the rest of the set. As it is a tile, Luke Skywalker can hang on to it like in the movie. Later models also had the Great Pit of Karkoon Sarlacc Pit as a buildable model, which was an excellent idea. For this limited set at the time, you would have had to construct your own with Lego bricks to show this. You would also need many figures from other sets to add to the playability of it. The back of the vehicle shows the dark gray pieces at the top being used for the driving area, with some reverse sloping black pieces further down. Inside the vehicle you can see that the space is very limited. The driving unit only has some handlebars. A proper real console with steering unit would have been better here. As you can see really only two or three minifigures would actually fit on the vehicle. As mentioned before the brown 2x4 piece in the center takes up scarce room on the vehicle, but now it is more evident from the top view. The bottom of the build has the sand-colored pieces, with the out-of-place blue piece clearly visible. The sand-colored 2x2 round bricks on the bottom serve two purposes, giving the appearance of hovering over a sandy surface and serving as the magnetic lifters that picked up R2-D2 and C-3PO like in the movie. The reverse black sloping pieces are also more evident to give it the curve look. Moving on to the two unique minifigures. Unfortunately, there are only two minifigures compared to later sets which contained Lando Calrissian, Chewbacca, Boba Fett, or a guard. Lego still had yellow and no flesh color tones to have Lando Calrissian at the time. Chewbacca was still exclusive to the original Millennium Falcon at the time of this set's release. Boba Fett was also still exclusive to the original Slave 1 model at the time of this set's release. 
skiff guards would have been good, but that's asking a bit much of the price. There was a Java's sail barge created later to have the guard minifigures. We get Luke Skywalker, which has the same yellow face as the Episode 1 Obi-Wan figure, to represent the serious return of the Jedi face. He has printing on the black torso to illustrate the Jedi robes, with black legs. Both his hands are yellow, being actually accurate given when in the movie this set takes place. His prosthetic hand wasn't damaged until partway through this battle, and he didn't pull a black glove over it until after taking off for Dagobah and his X-Wing later in the movie. He is armed with his awesome green lightsaber, ready to fight his way through Jabba's henchmen. This was the only set to have him at the time. Also included is Han Solo, who is also unique to this set. He has a yellow face with a more comical smiley expression than being serious like Luke. He has a white torso with printing to show his shirt. He has brown legs. He is armed with a black spear, which Lego felt fit the proportions of the weapons in the movie. As with sets of the era, the back of the minifigures are plain with no printing. So, there we have it Lego Star Wars, Desert Skiff set 7104 from the year 2000. Overall, this is not the best Lego Desert Skiff model. But it is the original and you would buy it as it is a sought after collector's item being the first Desert Skiff, and the two unique figures. I'd recommend this set to anyone who's looking for more pieces to build up a truly impressive return of the Jedi Great Pit of Carcoon display. As a bonus, you'll have another chromed lightsaber hilt as opposed to the flat gray tone Lego has stuck with for the past number of years and for some reason Han is holding a coveted black spear. If you can find it at a good price, don't hesitate to snap it up. The rare brown elements in the set alone which make up the sides of the skiff are worth the cost of investment. Thanks for watching. Please put in the comments below of any vintage Lego themes you would like to see. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you at the next Bricks Showcase.